Oh my god. Cornelius. Oh my goodness, you are at home. Right in the window. We're bringing these three over. Mama's here. The second my mom walks out. Well, I'm here at Southwest trying to figure this out. Live cargo animals. Phew! What is going on, girls? Welcome back to another video. I'm here hanging out with all the animals right now. There you go. Everyone is eating, but today we got a turtle filled day and what I mean by that is I had Rodrigo from Predatory Fin ship me a package of turtles, but it didn't go as planned. The cargo company was closed when they arrived. So right after today's video sponsor, we're going to get right into that. Enjoy the video. Today's video is sponsored by API. API is a trusted aquatics brand that has been in the industry for nearly 60 years, developing and perfecting products for your aquariums and ponds. And they've got a wide variety of pretty much every product you can think of. Just like test kits, water conditioners, fish medications, and they even offer nutritional products for your fish. Now, as you know, API has been a massive part of keeping my fish in the 5,500 gallon super healthy. And they've saved me in the past prior plenty of times. I've got API stress coat right here. And the best part about API products is on the package, there is literally instructions, benefits, when to use, directions for treating tap water, like the Aqua Essential. If I'm ever filling this pond up, I put some Aqua Essential in. Detoxifying ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. Or if I ever have to do a water test, which is often, right? They've got the Pond Master test kit for that. You get a new fish, kind of like I just got thumped. Some stress coat will help that fish be a little bit less stressful through the entire process. Those are just three examples of products from API that help me with my pond. So if you have a pond, aquarium, whatever it may be, and you don't got API on hand, that's your number one mistake. Make sure to click the link in the description down below, get yourself some API products, or you can go to any local pet store, fish store, they've probably got it. API is one of the largest brands out there. Click the link. Thank you so much API for sponsoring today's video. I can't live without you here. I even have a gigantic banner for API. That's how much I love them. Enjoy the rest of the video. I show up to pick up my turtles and no one is there. At this point, I don't know what to do. So I call the cargo company and I see how I can get these turtles today. Well, I'm here at Southwest trying to figure this out. Um, yeah, not looking hot, fellas. Hopefully the turtles are still alive on arrival. Rodrigo is a very reliable person when shipping live things, obviously does it for a living. So he did package them to most likely survive for a couple days especially because they're turtles not fish thank gosh these fish will be done worst case scenario we get it monday which is two days from now and the turtles got a bunch of holes in the box they should be good all right i'm in the elevator going back down they confirm the turtles are here but no one's working the cargo so they literally have no way to get them so they're going to call over the phone try to get in touch with someone that does have contacts to the cargo and i'm gonna wait there for a couple hours and see what happens so I waited there for a couple hours and I had no other choice but to wait until Monday. How's it going? I had them open the box and make sure the turtles were alive prior to me spending the money to pick up the box. Opened it up. Turtles are still alive, so we have got the box after Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday morning. It's Monday morning now. Turtles are still alive. They're still alive. Thankfully, Rodrigo's smart as heck and puts holes in the top of it just in case stuff like this happens. And it did happen, so he thought ahead of time. And look at that. Somehow, he managed to let him through. Oh my God, those things stink. They smell. I know you guys want water big time. A breeding pair of yellow belly turtles. I'm gonna get you to the pond ASAP, guys, ASAP. These turtles seriously cannot catch a break. They're, they're just getting bored on now. <laughs> All right, we've made it. The turtles have finally got home to fresh water and food and, and much more. Watch for dog poop. This backyard looks awesome. Look at how beautiful this is. This backyard is just unbeatable, man, I swear to you. Live cargo animals. Oh, oh yeah. Nothing small. These are big baby gills. Look at that. That is a big old turtle right there. That's one of them. There you go, buddy. Finally, some fresh water. Get all that foam off of you. Swim. You remember how to swim? <gasps> there he goes. Wow. Into the paradise of turtles. This pond literally has everything. All the old yellow bellies that were little babies that I had growing up. We have albinos that literally will come right up to your finger. Look at this. And we're bringing more and more turtles over here later today as well. This is just the start. 
Ooh. You guys stank. Another little yellow belly. These are rescues. Someone brought them into predatory fins. My buddy over there up in New York. And uh, he was like, you want some turtles? I said, my mom definitely does. Because my mom loves turtles. She comes out here, hand feeds them all of them. That's why they're so friendly. And uh, we've rescued a lot. We have a 28 and a 30 year old. Uh, exactly the same type of turtle as this. We've got a couple of albinos. Like I said, lots and lots of turtles. There you go, buddy. We'll let you walk in yourself. See you, bro. How amazing is that? Yeah. Yeah. Another rescued pair of turtles. <laughs> Look at that big old albino right there. That's big mama. How do you like it? You got a bunch of friends. So many friends. And although today's not the brightest day, there's so many places for these turtles to sit, hide, relax. This is truly one of the most incredible backyard ponds still to this day. And I mean, I got Malaysian box turtles back here. I got all sorts of turtles and they'll just hide because they can go all around back here. Look, there's one right here. This is the 30 year old. This is the 30 year old. He's over here just relaxing, hanging out. Regardless, Caveros, this backyard is just pristine. It always has been, and it stays pristine because we got Juan, the landscaper, that is an absolute stud. He just came and remulched this, and my parents love this backyard pond. My mom specifically loves the turtles, so she should be out here any minute. I bet you those turtles feel like a million bucks right now. They have been in a box for two and a half days, let alone the flight all the way here, and then in the car on the way here, it happened to just downpour rain. So yeah, they've been through back and uh, they're finally home. Mama's here. The second my mom walks out, all the turtles start coming up on land. Cause they're thinking it's Sunday brunch, but that was yesterday. Sunday brunch? We had they a, have brunch? Yes, we had a whole platter of different fruits. Oh, all right. Well, go. these turtles are very well taken care of here, put it that way. They're literally your pets. And I know they're my babies. You'll see, they'll start coming from all around. Look at them swimming. You know how good that probably feels? He was in a box for three days. Oh my god, I know I was worried about him. I'm glad they're alright. Hey mom. Yes. Dear. Hey mom, I'll be back with more. <laughs> more than merrier. Yeah. Look who it is. Right in the window. Thump the bass. Chilling right here. I'm hoping that he eats one of these days coming up. We just put him in two days ago, so. He looks super, super healthy, which is very, very good. And I really think he's gonna start eating here in the next day or two. He's got to, right? They gotta eat eventually. The pond just looks so good, though. Everything's super clear. Water is very warm, which equals happy fish. I got this bin, though, and what I'm gonna do with this bin is put all the other turtles that I'm bringing over to my mom's house inside of it. This right here is my little tiny 120 gallon turtle grow out tank. I've had this for years now. We've made a lot of videos growing out turtles and since then have put a lot of the turtles I've grown out in here at my mom's house in that pond. I had been mentioning for a little bit I want to remodel this tank. I want to redo all the substrate, make new structures for the turtles to sit and bask on. I want to make this really really cool although I don't want to get rid of every single turtle in here. I just want to take a couple of the ones that are growing bigger take them out, put them into my mom's house so that we can free up some room in here to get some more baby turtles. So turtles like this, this little yellow belly right here, we're gonna keep him, so we'll make sure to put him back in. But turtles like this that have just gotten so immensely large, as you can see, look how thick this African side neck is. I mean, he is getting big. I'd say he weighs a solid, like, honestly, two pounds probably. Him, he's going to my mom's house. He's got a lot of land there, a lot more land than this. This literally only has a little basking area, which he's always on when I first walk in. And there's also gonna be a lot of land for this guy to go up and bury himself, which he loves to do, as we know, when he was in the Mata tank. He barely ever even went in the water. Oh, I see you. Now, these right here are my Indian spotted. I wanna grow all of these out. They're super pretty and they're getting very low. Oh, don't run away from me. Oh, and they're getting very large. I also have albinos in here, which my mom already has three of those. I just have one growing out. When we do the remodeling video on this, we'll go through more of what's in there. There's some fish in there as well. But I'm gonna take out a couple other turtles, which I'm not exactly sure they where they are, so I gotta dig through. This guy too, that melanistic turtle. These guys are all a little too big for this right here. As you know, everything grows, so it's about time we move even this crazy looking turtle that I got from Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch even this guy over to my mom's house and they're gonna live a very happy life over there it's massive they've got plenty of land to scavenge and bury themselves and do whatever over there we're bringing these three over right now the rest of them are still in here look at how tiny this guy is i mean there's very tiny turtles in here this musk turtle is thriving too he's been in here for a while 
My buddy Nick dropped me off that one. But all those turtles will eventually grow big after we re remake this house. They'll grow big and then they'll be at my mom's house as well. So everything goes to the OG ponds at some point. Cornelius, oh my goodness, you are a hoss. You're looking studly, man. Oh my gosh. Cornelius, on the other hand, he ain't going nowhere. That is uh, Cornelius' home right there. All right, enough talking. Let's get these turtles, put them into the truck, and get over to the OG ponds. We're here. Back at the OG pond again. In them with double shipment. Double shipment. I say we release the African side neck first. This guy has been a pet of mine. I got him at PetSmart. He's been with me for a very long time, years and years. He used to have a bad bladder issue when I got him, and uh, now he's just an just absolute like stud. <laughs> just like you. Know. I have a bladder issue that doesn't need to be exposed to the internet. Oh I'm just kidding. <laughs> Big old pond. No, loves the way. Dude, loves, way. I'm telling you, he loves the land. Look. Are you saying bye to dad? Oh, how cute of you. Come back over here, oh. daddy. See you, bud. Brenton, you got that one. All right. I'm I'm putting him right here. Right in there? All right. Yes. Brenton's got the melanistic. It's going to go right into the pot of weeds, which is so fuego. Dude, look how, literally look how natural that is. It's like he's in the wild. And I'll put this crazy looking turtle. I'm not sure what this is, but Blake gave it to me. I'm gonna put that in here too. Oh right there. yeah, they're just chilling. Oh yeah. In the Serengeti. Oh. In the what? The Serengeti. <laughs> what is what is Serengeti? <laughs> is this, am I mixing up Serengeti and spaghetti? <laughs> there he goes. See you later, buddy. And the melanistic is not too far behind him. Aww. What a fantastic day, huh? Rescue two turtles, rehome three of mine to this beautiful paradise of a backyard. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you check out the merch. Top link in the description. I don't promote it enough, but. Show them the back, show them the back. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Okay, ball. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> God only knows what's about to happen. I'm gonna let Brenton close off the video here. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he really got up. <laughs>